मैंने कहा इट्स अ इट्स अ डिच इफ आई गो इन आई आई बी इन अ डिच इन माई कार He said, "No, you have to figure out a way to get us out of the ditch." I would say, "Me, just driving nahi aati, me just swimming nahi aati." So, these two people, a lot of people, were laughing at me. And there was one more shot in which they said that she is escaping mm-hmm. on a boat, mm-hmm. but because she doesn't want, doesn't have to be seen, she has to get off the boat, jump into the whatever river lake, stay underwater till the boat passes, and then come up. I said, <laughs> "No, it's not just that I don't know how to swim. I'm genuinely afraid of water." Okay. I I don't really care what he says or what he thinks. I think that stigma has stopped affecting me. Hi, I'm Nusha Darucha, and you're watching me on Midday.com. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Midday.com. We are in this beautiful house of actress Nusha Darucha with the actress herself, who's been very kind to let us in this evening with this beautiful view of the Mumbai monsoons from a balcony. The rains are a little bit of a hassle for a lot of people, but from this view, I think it just looks beautiful. <laughs> This is a new house, Nusha. I uh, just moved in in November, actually. So. Oh, okay, okay. This is really beautiful, and really nice, and thanks for having us here. <laughs> But uh, we, usually, whenever we are talking to actors, we're talking to them about their upcoming projects, their movies, their you know, their life as an actor. But this time, the topic is a little different. <laughs> we are talking about something new that you've started, that is off-roading. Um, tell us, where did the idea come from, and what motivated you to take this up? Friends, actually. um i bought a thar and they around me kept saying did you buy it because you you know you're going to use the 4x4 and take it for a spin so i thought uh, it's a fast sports wala you know gear which you can just put it when you're driving fast <laughs> so what it is <laughs> so then i was explained that no this is a 4x4 wheel drive which is done for a completely different track you can't drive 4x4 on a normal straight road in in a, a city yes you have to drive it for off roading only and uh, what it means and what it does and how how technology even in automobiles has increased so much that that the passenger safety is the first thing which is where somebody who does not know too much about cars and has not driven um for those those many years and doesn't have that much experience can do these off roading courses because your car is fully safe that 4 4x4 wheel drive and everything that they've done um it's just made it easier for us to do that but it's so much fun it's so much fun oh my god i can't tell you did you have to go through a lot of uh, training i had to go through 2 hours of theory which in which they explain to us what it is um how this whole 4x4 concept came and what is it how is it different from a two wheel drive and all of that to then actually taking us on the track and saying इसमें अब आपको गाड़ी यहां से ऐसे निकालनी है मैंने कहा इट्स अ इट्स अ डिच इफ आई गो इन आई आई विल बी इन अ डिच इन माय कार ही सेड नो यू हैव टू फिगर आउट अ वे टू गेट इट आउट ऑफ द डिच आई सेड ओह डू आई डू दैट बट देयर वाज नो अदर वे आई आई वाज हेड डाउन दैट्स माय फर्स्ट ऑब्स्टिकल आई डिड इज दे मेड मी गो डाउन अ हिल and then they had this thing where they say in 3 seconds he will count till 3 i have to get out of my reverse gear put it in my first drive manual and then take it uphill but if i do it and don't do it in 3 then i have to go all the way back down and do it all over again so the it's not just whether you can do it it also it's a test of how um your sen- senses are like how fast you are and how you can respond in 3 seconds you got to change because that's all you get actually 3 seconds also you don't get when you're going up a hill you don't have time but you have to train your mind and body in a way where you are that fast at shifting gears and going up or coming back has driving always been a passion or an aspiration something you always wanted to do no actually uh, it was you know when um, when they would ask me what do you not know how to do or what is i would say mujhe driving nahi aati mujhe swimming nahi aati to ye dono pe bahut log mere aas paas haste the कि कैसे ड्राइविंग नहीं आती और कैसे स्विमिंग नहीं आती मतलब ये तो गिवन होते हैं कि ये आना चाहिए ऐसे अब नहीं आता तो नहीं आता एंड देन आई हैड टू लर्न टू ड्राइव अ कार इन वन ऑफ माय फिल्म्स एंड दे सेड नो वी कान चीट इट वी कान गेट एनी वन एल्स टू डू इट यू विल एक्चुअली हैव टू लर्न हाउ टू ड्राइव सो आई हैव लर्न नाउ लाइक फ्यू मंथ्स बैक फॉर अ फिल्म एंड मैं बॉम्बे में टोटल ऑफ तीस दिन गाड़ी चलाई होगी मेरी खुद मैंने तीस दिन उससे ज़्यादा नहीं और उस तीस दिनों में ये ऑफ रोडिंग हो गई 
आई डोंट नो कैसे वेन आई टोल माई इंस्ट्रक्टर मैंने कहा आई होप आई क्वालिफाई बिकॉज आई हैव ओनली ड्रिव इन दिस मच आई हैव नो एक्सपीरियंस आई आई लेजर ओनली हैव अ लर्नर्स लाइसेंस ऑल्सो राइट नाउ आई सर उसके लिए भी आई हैव टू नाउ गो गिव द टेस्ट एंड ऑल टू गेट द पक्का लाइसेंस मैंने कहा तो कैसे होगा सो ये सर डोंट वरी कर लोगे आप हम है ना कोई स्ट्रेस नहीं है आप बस इंस्ट्रक्शन फॉलो करो जो मैंने किए आई वॉज जस्ट फॉन्डरिंग यू नो सो मेनी फिल्म यू डन बट यू नेवर रियली हैड टू लाइक ड्राइव अ कार योर सेल्फ सो फार सो फार एंड यू डिट ऑल्सो हैव टू स्विम नो ओके वन आई ऑनेस्टली वन अभी वन फिल्म आई फिनिश शूटिंग दे सेड आई हैव टू बी इन वॉटर एंड देर वॉज वन मोर शॉर्ट इन विच दे सेड दैट शी इज अस्केपिंग ऑन अ बोट but because she doesn't doesn't have to be seen she has to get off the boat jump into the whatever river lake stay under water till the boat passes and then come up i said <laughs> no no i said i will drown guys i will drown i won't be able to do it so they changed it they had to change that and they made it into something else but uh, yeah it's it's not easy for me to tell people that i can't do this particular role or the scene because It's not just that I don't know how to swim. I'm genuinely afraid of water. Okay. It's like my legit fears. I can't. Right. I right. really can't. Is that something that you would be addressing next? I I really want to. I've been trying to brave it and go to a swim class and learn. It's just not happening. Might just be nice in the monsoon, you know. Yeah. <laughs> right but you know i was looking at the video uh, that you posted on instagram uh, getting a lot of comments one person actually commented that you know usually the perception is that women can't drive very yeah, well yeah, yeah. and you know they're always like mistrusted saying ki are you know if there is a jam or something pakka koi ladki hogi at the uh, year i mean i am i come from delhi so i know it, it happens way more there yeah. i don't know about bombay so much but are you kind of like happy that you know that kind of you Uh, you know gotten rid of the stigma and that to somebody who's just learned driving actually you know i um, even if right now i'm reversing a car under my building even after i've done this off roading the person on the road doesn't know ki bhai chala kya hi aati wo to abhi bhi wohi bolega ladki hai thok degi right i i don't really care what he says or what he thinks i think that stigma has stopped affecting me um because even though i don't know and even though maybe i've taken the wrong turn i'll be like ha theek hai na At least I'm learning it. गलत करूंगी तो ही सही समझ में आएगा ना सही करती रहूंगी तो ऐसा समझ में आएगा मैं कह सो आई डोंट थिंक द स्टिग्मा इज एवर बॉदर मी फॉर मी आई एम वेरी ग्लैड आई स्टार्ट लर्निंग एट अ लेटर स्टेज इन माई लाइफ वेर आई रियली डोंट केयर वट पीपल आर सेंग अभी तक आई थिंक मैं सीख नहीं रही थी इसी फेयर से कि मुझे आएगा नहीं मुझे कोई ना कोई डांटेगा कोई ना कोई ये होगा मैं रास्ता जाम कर दूंगी फिर बोलेंगे क्या है अटक गई आई डोट वॉन्ट ऑल दैट सो ऐसे ड्राइवर बोल रहे आई कैंड डेट I think now I've come to a place where I don't care. अगर मुझे नहीं आता तो मैं चौराहे के बीच गाड़ी खड़ी करके बोलूंगी मेरे को नहीं आता है सब काम लिए रुक जाओ मेरे को सीखने दो निकालने दो फिर निकालूंगी गाड़ी बिकॉज आई कम टू डूइंग इट फॉर मी एंड एंड लर्निंग इट माई सेल्फ मोर देन रियली ट्राई टू गेट अ स्टिग्मा आउट यू नो और काइंड ऑफ काउंटर एक्ट पीपल इज वाई आई एंजॉय इट मोर इज वाई आई एम वेरी हैप्पी विद इट मोर इज वाई आई एम लाइक ओके आई डोंट नो थिंग्स गाइज इट्स फाइन But that doesn't mean I shouldn't do it. Will we see you in Mumbai's traffic <laughs> driving? You always see me. I'm driving in Mumbai traffic only. <laughs> the first thing my uh, driving instructor taught me is to learn to only drive, drive on brake. Uh, He said, "Don't even bother can. about accelerator. Brake, brake, release. Brake, brake, release. Isi pe gadi chalo." So yeah, right. No, also you know. Uh, I guess it's because of the initial films that you did, like Parka Panchama. There was a certain, you know, this prim and proper girl who's like always in you know, a hair, not a hair out of place kind <laughs> of an image. You probably had, uh, obviously, in the later films you've done various other kind of roles. But probably the idea was we would have probably never imagined you, you know, going into that mud and all that water that you've been <laughs> into. I mean, are you not like bothered about getting down and dirty and you know in that? you know it, it doesn't matter all. whether your clothes are torn or anything not at all so it's not like anything no. that you have to have to look proper all the time it doesn't not matter not at all i think i was one of the people who was sitting in the on the grass on the floor uh, and the ground when other people were doing their cars i just parked my car and i sat on the ground and like ha this is cool like my jeans were full of my boots were full of my hair had it was full of muck all over प्लस बारिश हो रही थी तो वी वर एनीवे गेटिंग वेट 
but uh, yeah i am i'm somebody who has no problem in getting down and dirty with it right you grew up in bombay right yes. is there anything about uh, living in the city uh, do you ever feel that there are certain experiences that you couldn't go through because you've always been in a city like you've been a city girl like you know say for example experiencing nature a little more closely or you know doing more ad- adventurous activities probably no actually uh, my parents i think are to credit for that um i remember meri uh, kaun si ek exam which start to prelims uske baad kuch ek aur exam hoti hai na badi wali jo bhi ek exam hoti hai jisse liye bahut padhai karni hoti hai so i studied a lot and i was really high road us exams ke baad they took me to the himalayas trekking mom dad another bro- my cousin brother and me four of us took off it was a 15 day trek where we've gone from base camp to camp 1 to camp 2 to brigu lake and back and i was a child i was like the ninth standard or something and i didn't know what it was to live in tents to eat whatever cooked potatoes and whatever that could get cooked in that much time over there um it was their idea of giving me a different experience than a city life is to take me to nature so they've done a lot they've gone to valley of flowers they've gone to brigu lake they've done a lot lot of treks and even if for like for example whenever it rains there's this place called ilshalgarh so my dad takes the car we go park it at the petrol pump down there and mom dad and i trek up a whole hill sit there and then trek back down then sit in the car and come back that's our one day in bombay yeah. if we have an off so i've grown up with parents who've done that i've grown up with family who who always liked to do adventurous things is my father only who first taught me how to rock climb or do rappling or river crossing all of that is they made me do so i don't think i've ever missed out on the other adventurous nature trek kind of a life they've given it to me they've given so, it to so me. you do have a bit of a thrill seeker in you yeah 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 oh totally <laughs> totally but is there anything that you're scared of like i have a big fear of heights I don't think I had a fear of heights actually before but I just got this vertigo thing last year uski wajah se ab height pe na ussa dar nahi lagta but sab ghoomta hai so the vertigo ka fear is more now at heights but n- not really a fear of heights i don't know what it is but i'm very afraid of water like i said hmm. mujhse nahi hota hmm. even if it's a swimming pool i can't right like i just a choke like literally choke people are supposed to breathe <laughs> i stop breathing <laughs> in fear <laughs> right would we see you doing an action role taking up a action role i don't mind i don't think it look nice on me though <laughs> people don't <laughs> believe it it say punch aega to kya hoga ki nahi hoga pata nahi <laughs> see that is what i'm talking about you know that's the image that yeah, yeah that uh, you know okay she's this uh, a uh, delicate person probably but i guess this this video and this you know this off roading adventure is definitely a step towards moving away from that i hope perception. so i just, i feel like there's so much more to a person than yes. what you see you know uh, and for actors the roles we do are roles the characters written by somebody else's story and somebody else's vision we just bring that to life but what we are and what our life is can be totally different and we still live in a time and age where people believe everything they see on screen you know mm-hmm. they feel like nahi ye mai bata rahi hu there are people in my normal life have said to me you you're like that pyaka panchama girlfriend you know in real life so paanch shit pink ke pata hai <laughs> i've had friends when they were sitting and watching sktks with me they would look at me and say tu aage screen pe kya karne wali bata de maine kaha you guys have grown up with me to mujhe dar kaise lag raha hai mujhe mujhe samajh nahi aa raha it's a little but that's the that's the power cinema has yes. films has it really influences quite a bit yes yeah. yes yes no but you have done your fair share of different kind of roles like say for for example dream girl or janhit mein jari mm-hmm. the you know selfie for that yeah. matter you know very different kind of uh roles some very socially conscious ones you know uh, the pa- pyar ka panchnama film sometimes are say the slightly more probably misogynistic and everything but these films have been very like you know so in you know uh, uh, portraying a woman in a very different and in a very powerful and strong light those were conscious choices these are like to to kind of break out of that um, bracket and then no i think um, um, i never i never made a conscious choice to break out of anything um i was always so before i did pyar ka panchnama i also did an lsd yeah which 
talked about uh, honor killing and was a very powerful mm. film at least my story mm. for me it was very powerful in the way it was said and shot uh, but nobody remembered that then they kind of only wanted to remember the pyar ka bachna mm. so a huge think, hit yeah i know and and i think somewhere i've been a person who likes doing different things um so jab bhi mauka mila maine kiya there's been no conscious effort of going out there and breaking into or out of anything the films came to me like chori came to me when it came to me and i did it a janit came to me when it came to me i did it i didn't go out looking for a janit or a chori you know early on i enjoyed my parka panchama roles i enjoyed my dream girl roles i enjoyed even these i think as long as i am enjoying it and i'm having fun uh, with it i can do any role i want to na no? like go in any direction yes. that's that's what i like about being in this creative field <laughs> Yeah. On that note, um, anything you're watching on OTT or any show that you follow? I have just, just started watching this Korean show called The Glory. Okay. Yes. Oh my god. I'm so addicted. I'm so hooked. Are you usually a K drama fan, or this is a new I'm thing? I'm a huge K drama. Oh, fan. awesome! Please tell me more names that you listen. You have to start watching The Kingdom. Okay. On zombies, that is, but it's unreal. Okay. Then The King, which is like a love story. Yes. Then uncontrollably fond, okay. then inheritors, okay. then crash landing onto you, the legend of the blue sea, and now I'm on the glory. I'm awesome. like an encyclopedia of awesome. K drama. Yeah, I mean, crash I landing on you it. was my first K drama. Then moved it's on to so others, cute. but haven't been able to catch up as much because there's so much in Indian content that is also happening. It's crazy. Right, right. But any series in India that you have watched that you've liked or that you would? I like The Hard a lot. Mm-hmm. I liked Farzi a lot. Ah. Um, I like special ops a lot. Um, I liked even Khaki actually. Um, Family Man again, of huge course. fan. Part one, yes. part two. Um, so yeah, these these shows I've really liked and I've really like binge watched them. The Heart I fully binge watched. Binge Are you to open it. to doing a series yourself? I've been open to it even before OTT became OTT. When I came to my first IWM Buzz Awards in two thousand and eighteen, is when I had gone on stage and said it. I said I would love to be a part of a show and a series. People have to. That's what I'm saying. It'll come my way. Yes, yes. Where it has definitely to. put it out in the news. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. What's happening with Chori too? Finished dub. I think post is on, and it should be ready in a couple of months. Oh, and I'm. Uh, it's releasing this year for sure because that's what the announcement was. Just don't know a date yet. Right. Just don't know it. Right. Right. Before we end this, I'll have to talk to you. You know, you're a Bombay girl. We are talking, you know, sitting re- literally in the middle of you know crazy <laughs> rains yeah. and everything. Um, any more? You know, what do you like or hate about Mumbai monsoons? I love Mumbai monsoons. I absolutely love it. There is nothing, um, no other season that I look forward to as much as I look forward to Bombay rains. Uh, what I hate about it is the fact that the traffic gets unreal. um and timings go for a toss you can't reach point a to point b on time yeah, you just can't reach and nobody nobody understands that because nobody understands bombay it's not a straight road guys it's <laughs> not the potholes and the water you have to drive your car slowly you can't see there's so much traffic around it's just i think maybe that one thing i don't like about rains but other than that i love everything any favorite monsoon mem- memory or activity that you Um, when I was living in my previous house, my uh, building would open up to the beach, to Juhu Beach. So every monsoon, my first rains has been on the beach. How beautiful! Like when when we were in the lockdown, I've taken pictures walking around on the beach in the rains and posted also, because uh, it's very beautiful. The beach in the monsoon is very nice. Yes, yes, definitely, definitely. Right. Thank you so much for your time today, Nishar. Then Thank hope you. for hope to see more off-roading videos on yeah, your socials. Yeah, I plan to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.